All right, people, what's up, everyone? And welcome to another reaction for another death battle. And this is Black Adam versus Apocalypse. I can't believe it's already been two weeks since the last one, which was John Wick versus Bond. But we're here. Uh, the premiere, actually, let me pause this real quick. The premiere already started like a, a, almost 10 minutes ago, but I'm here now to watch it. And not that this matters. It's not like this is a live stream or anything. But uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to this one. Of course, Black Adam and Apocalypse, both for characters I don't really know too much. But uh Hey, The Rock versus uh, Oscar Isaac. That's what I've been waiting for. So, <laughs> I've always wanted that. So, we're finally getting it. I won't forget Oscar Isaac played Apocalypse. I think Disney will try to forget, though, considering he's now Moon Knight. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it. Three, two, not that they have anything to do with each other, the two X-Men in the MCU universe, obviously. Uh, even though they did get Patrick Stewart, but whatever. Anyway, let's go. Three, two, one, go. I don't know why I counted now. Link in the description, by the way, if you want to watch yourself. All right, we'll crank this up. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. We're faced with challenges in life all the time, especially these days. It feels like it's basically constant. I'm fully because challenged. of that, it can be overwhelming to learn how to find solutions. A good therapist can teach you to be a better problem solver and make it easier to accomplish your that goals, a better big person. or small. There's no way. Be a great way There's no therapist the out there to help me. Dealing with in your personal and professional I'm all fucked up. It can be great up. to have someone to talk to, to help you heal emotionally, figure out things <clears> like, like anxiety sailor, or depression, I'm, I'm fucked up, I'm all fucked up. It might be scary or intimidating at first, but talking with your therapist can serve as a respite from the outside world, a battery recharge before you're back out there. If any of that sounds appealing to you, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, affordable, and best of all, totally online. All you have to do is fill out a quick the white survey to get the therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time. When you want to be a better problem oh, I can, solver, I can, I can therapy fix this. can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com slash death battle today. Oh, uh, to no, it doesn't, it doesn't dim the shit. That's BetterHelp.com slash doesn't dim the video. That sucks. I have a plugin that just turns the lights off. What else do I have, actually? I have return to YouTube just like you block origin. I have like three block blocks. Adam, DC's <laughs> ferocious champion of Shazam. Yes. Oh, is it, is it gonna be Dwayne? Baleful mutant conqueror. The thumbnail's Dwayne, so I assume. Raw. For over oh. 30 centuries, this is the second time in the last few months where they used the rock on the thumbnail. Biggest baddies this side of the Nile. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job I wonder to analyze the rock, their weapons, uh, armor, watches and these. skills to find out who would win a death, death battle. battle. Oh, that's spoiling a little bit there. I guess, I'm assuming that means it's going to be You've in the heard of 16 Gotham, bit. The Mascara, Metropolis, just a few of DC's unique tourist spots. But there's another. Oh, South of the Mediterranean Sea and north of the Sinai Peninsula rests the sovereign nation of Kondok. While those spots have Superman and Batman solving friends like it's magic, Kondok's got an actual magic man saving them. Black Adam. Long ago, Teth Adam and his people were enslaved by the conqueror Ebok and his army of barbarians. He All he first. had left was his nephew, Amon. Upon fleeing certain hmm. death, the two stumbled so they onto that the movie, rock that's of sun. eternity, a mystic lair that has defended magic since the dawn of time. Here, the two earned an audience with the lair's masters, the excellently named Council of Wizards. Seeing the purity in little so Amon's heart, his boy right? Gandalf decked him out with super magic. And being yeah. the nice guy he is, Amon shared some magic power with his uncle. Whatever the... Spoiler alert. Whatever, uh, not his best idea. They returned to Conduct to free their people, but their methods reached an impasse. Amon wanted to use his powers to resolve matters in a peaceful fashion. However, Teth Adam desired vengeance, emancipation through slaughter. So Uncle Teth set his nephew down, man to man, looked him straight in the eyes, and then frickin' killed him. Then used his borrowed power to steal <laughs> Holy the best shit. of the super magic. You know what they say? That's hardcore. No nephew. No problem with the full might of the wizards at his fingertips. No nephew, no problem. Adam annihilated God, the barbarians I say that every day. His city. Suffice to say, he's not exactly your typical hero. Even the superhero A-listers don't try him, and for good reason. What is this? Kmart Merlin here didn't give Adam some nerdy wand, but that dope shit, the living lightning. <laughs> that dope While it shit. may function just like real lightning, this living lightning is among the most potent spells in comics history. It's magic lightning. You ever see normal lightning kickstart? a giant's heart and juice up the flesh Actually, because yeah. black adam's lightning did and activating I have it seen is that. as easy as saying the say magic now? word Shazam. i've seen a lot of shit wait, wait, hold up. That's my god rucker how and blade running black adam or shazoo oh, he doesn't even need to say that shit kmart merlin this is mumaragan the mightiest of the wizards to call kmart merlin versus magic 
He promotes individuals to be his anymore. mythic champions. Black Adam is one of the first. So, kind of like Shazam with another name. I like my idea better. Shazoo! It really lets you know you gotta be quiet. Like when you're in a zoo or, you know, the animals yeah, will yeah, yeah, yeah. kill you. Love Donald Wait, is that not a real thing? Yeah, Can I talk that. in the zoo? But when Teth Adam shouts his magic word, lightning pours from the clouds, transforming him from meager human to wizard Jesus. And vice versa. <laughs> Simply put, name, Black Wizard Adam Jesus. is imbued with the powers of God. God. Well, gods, plural, as oh, his God. gifts come from multiple mythological legends. At first, he got juiced hey, up God. from the Greek gods. Hey, Zeus, hey, Atlas, Herc, hey, you know, all hey, those buff guys and gals. I want to say in the Shazam movie they switched it, right? Yet Condot craved for their hero's return. So Black Adam's most devoted followers collected all of his ashes and prayed their hearts out. This time, to their own pantheon. Goodbye, muscles, and hello, bird people. Black oh, yeah. Adam was reborn, now <laughs> with the powers thumbs up. of the Egyptian pantheon. Gods like Shu, Amun, and Horus gave Adam the basics. Super strength, speed, flight, and an undying body. But the real magic's with the other three. The power of Aten channels the living lightning throughout his entire body for combative purposes. And the wisdom of Zahuti improves Black Adam's strategic thinking. It's a council Zahuti? of knowledge from the Zahuti? gods that clues Black Adam in on how to defeat his enemies. Like, Johnny for instance, Anderson. when evil Joker was about to do that kid? Billy mad, Billy went all King Shazam on conduct. But guess what? Zahuti had Black Adam in Instinctively lead Billy into a trap to destroy uh, his ass with the power of Sunday uh, prayers. Oh, that kid also uh, Billy. Holy shit! And finally, the courage of Mahen. <laughs> Holy Besides shit! Besides healing and resistance to mental movie. attacks, Mahen's power granted Black Adam an indomitable will. It's got him through some really rough patches. His family? Dead. His country? Wasted. His wife got revived. She turned to stone. You can oh, no. knock him down, sure, but he ain't staying there. Mahan helped make Black Adam a non-wavering and decisive leader. The whole world can turn against him, but he would not care so long as Kondok is safe. To reach those ends, he's partnered with the Justice Society. So they Society really did America, change a lot of the, the story of in the new Black Adam. Even the I, I don't think I heard Kondok once one day and in the, the any of the trailers. So, uh, is Black Adam a good guy or a bad guy? Uh, neither. Only the side that benefits his people matters. He's not concerned there with morality, so and his brash in there. nature is frequently misunderstood. It's what led to the entire JSA jumping him twice. And they still can not check him. Adam's just built that different. Black Adam caused sandstorms with a single clap, pushed the nice. moon, and killed the four well, horsemen yeah, of the apocalypse. Yeah, it helps. One time when space yeah. cultists came and knocked it on Earth, he fought side by no, side that's why we didn't get our dark side of game. Afterward, when the Yellow Lanterns dipped and took their rings with them, Sinestro let Black Adam keep the one he got. Oh. Now that's a bromance. And can I just say, he is a Black Adam makes a mean lightning tiger. He murdered the Council of Wizards and later endangered Mamoragan himself. And the Almighty Wizards are part of the Quintessence, basically DC's gods who watch over the multiverse. No surprise, since Black Adam effortlessly broke Spectre's body, another Quintessence person. Sure, he's <laughs> torn off Hawkman's oh, wing and tried person. to kill one. Uh, Oh, oh, oh that never happened in the movie. People and loved ones, Black Adam is a hero. A moment's gaze from God their idol is hero. all they need to carry on living. So invaders beware. No one's true. Why no white Adam, though? True savage champion of Shazam. No one's gonna get that reference. Shit, I was gonna hope I transform there. Shazoo! <laughs> Shazoomy! Oh, wait, I think I remember that. Let me tell was that for the you DC... about one of my favorite graphic novels. It spells Online the game? end of all days. When madness reigns supreme and oh, order shit. is shattered. Same. Mounted upon white horses' death, destruction, pestilence, and, and famine bring say. about a world oh, anew. This is the end. It gets dark I, as shit, I have like shirt. literally, and I'm I have there that for it. Take Are your you panties off. talking about the Bible? What? No, this is oh. a Marvel comic. Five thousand years ago in Marvel Comics, my favorite Marvel the comic, the Bible. Of a tribe birthed something terrible, an ugly child. <laughs> to them, he was a demon, like a mix between great value uh, Thanos and a box yeah, of chopsticks. Okay. So they midnight dumpster babied his ass in the desert to die. Luckily, Ball of the Crimson Sands tribe saw it differently. Within this child, he saw a conqueror. He raised him as En Saba Nur, the Morning Light. And above all, he taught him one major lesson. Only it's the strong really. survive. Nur became oh, a warrior, you like that song too? same as his peers, dun, 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 but his dun, 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 dun. made his experience unique. He was stronger, smarter, and hated. Even to these people, he was an outsider. Then the pharaoh killed Baal and enslaved Nur, 
Due to it, no one lived on his side except for this chick who he had a thing for. But everyone he uh, meets apparently just wants ugly people to die, even it, when he saves their life. Shit, just swipe right, girl. Goddamn. <laughs> and so he embraced the perceived truth. They're gonna get hentai to death. Monster, Hope you enjoy that. He would prove it. Betrayed by all and respected by none. If no one would care for N. Sabaner, they would all fear apocalypse. Long right, story yeah. short, he's a mutant. And not just a creepy looking dude uh, like Beak. Or show the, Ivan uh, God, what the fuck? Anyway, he's got superpowers and they're on a whole nother level. He has inhuman physiology and intelligence, along with complete control over his molecular structure, allowing him to reshape and mold his body however he pleases. Yeah, but I guess he's too proud to just like turn himself into Jason Momoa or something. With the combination of his not so screwed tight tactical brain and prowess, Apocalypse conquered Egypt, leading it into a prosperous age with an iron fist and an ocean of blood. He then set his sights on the very world itself. Just one problem. Is there a the big, had a bunch big of eggs flying guy with a big eye head? Around stopping his world domination to accomplish Just poke his him in his victory. head. There you go, you the win. Like, oh, fuck. More. But that would all change upon the arrival of a certain mutant messiah. Okay, so first, Apocalypse cable. found some space that tech that belonged to Celestials, basically Marvel's gods. Despite its amazing potential, he wasn't able to make use of the technology until oh, the time no, traveler that's third Cable prong. showed up to yeah. kill him. Instead, yeah. Cable accidentally infected Apocalypse with a techno-organic virus, a disease that turns organic matter to futuristic technology. Turns out, oh, that doesn't sound like exactly it's a good, yeah. Oh, that doesn't sound like something Celestial you should have done, bro. With the promise that he would repay the Celestials later, he was bestowed a gem that would change the game forever. This is a death scene, a celestial artifact with the purpose of death leading Earth scene? into a higher evolved form. By injecting a death seed into someone, seed, okay. they are transfigured into one of Apocalypse's horsemen, a being of I was going to say there. Oh, yeah, that's right. I Don't remember the movie now. I remember that shit movie now. Yeah, he has four horsemen. All technology so, with your Black mind. Adam's good at killing horsemen, it, so they're but fucked. Apocalypse's power is so fast, he had no issues controlling it. So, take a god pyramid, add a super tech virus, multiply the X gene, and what do you get? An Apocalypse who is unrecognizable from his meager past. With these three under his command any superpower you can think of is now at his oh, disposal that whole part was apocalypse so can teleport Fight to blast all sorts of energy mind. turn invisible regenerate limbs read minds and friggin' fly doesn't he say Look you're in my world now bitch like it's like fucking freddy krueger shit, give a shit. Uh. and most impressive is his ability to siphon energy he once absorbed cyclops's laser with his bare hand the same laser that can split planets. I know, I think it wasn't long my before house, the virus bitch. incorporated technology into his molecules. With mere thoughts, he could construct fake bodies, entire robot armies, and even morph himself into a kaiju. And his peak, what? virtually no oh, one stands a chance. Giant. On That's a insane. bad day, Apocalypse bodied six of the strongest X-Men in a minute. His telepathy alone contends with Jean Grey, one of the greatest psychics in Marvel. He's out-muscled and outpaced both Hulk and Thor. And we all know how crazy those two are we're talking about heroes able to destroy the marvel universe and in an alternate timeline apocalypse <laughs> even slaughtered a celestial process. with his bare hands <laughs> his bare freaking hands wow way to pay him back for that solid they did you bro with that death seed in tow it's hard to attribute apocalypse as anything but a force of nature especially when said death seed mm. has mutated I guess apocalypse is going fighting the phoenix force a cosmic entity in the primal Maybe force of gene life. in fact Dr. Doom claims the Death Seed is directly comparable to the Phoenix itself. So much pain, so many bodies. I don't, I don't see Black Adam winning. War and has the scars to back it up. And even when someone manages to take him down, so long as he's got blood, metal, and that Death Seed, he'll just keep coming back again and again. Again. Can we get him some moisturizer? So what Damn. is more inevitable and more dramatic to the annihilation of humans than the apocalypse himself? <laughs> I love all that. Make him this float, they Bad just go. By Mint Mobile. Say, same frame of, of, of the character, and they just go. That means they fly. So when we first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month, we thought, what's the catch? But after talking to them and using their service, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile secret sauce. There is not a catch. There is. Ryan Reynolds will show up to your house. That's it. You just hang out with him. I mean, eventually you want him to leave, but he won't. He'll just hang out as long as he wants. That's the that's the catch. And he'll come 
over randomly throughout the month. If you cancel, it'll also come over to say goodbye. <laughs> Does it doesn't matter Reynolds on this company? I, get, I always get the stupid ass commercials. So. Ah, Mint Mobile, I have my uh, sister in law. There she is. Yep. Go say, go say how great the company is. It's great. There you go. Here's your check. Get the fuck out of here now. I don't want to see you until Thanksgiving. All right. Here we go. Right, I'm gonna guess set. Apocalypse. All right. What version of each character are they gonna use? Let's see if it's gonna be 16-bit, like it showed earlier. Yep. No, no, no. Okay. So it's all right. It's 16-bit. Oh, 3D environment. I like the 16-bit actually. Oh fuck out of here. Here go. Angry shit. <laughs> Apocalypse wins. Damn, we just get straight to it. Oh, that was a he, he can make bodies up with his thoughts or whatever, right? Is this? What is this music? Oh, oh, oh! That's close up. Hey, got your ass. Damn. 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 I can't understand what the fuck you just said. <laughs> he said something black at him, I think, at one point. Tiger at him. What's up, fucker? Ah, <laughs> oh, crush his head. Oh, oh, he went inside him. Is he? Uh, <laughs> oh god damn <laughs> Shazam oh shit god damn all right all right god damn wait <laughs> <laughs> I can't I remember that line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he died. <laughs> yeah. I would, I would agree. That's a KO. <laughs> this result surprised us. For what it's worth, both Black Adam and Apocalypse displayed you? ludicrous levels of godlike ability. Both of their power supplies. The way you explain Apocalypse, I was like, there's no way he's gonna like lose, right? And Super Gandalf and both fun heroes like Thor and Wonder Woman. Right. The victor could not be deduced by strength and speed alone. Rather, it depended on how their abilities countered each other. In that regard, Apocalypse held many advantages. For starters, he could one up the living lightning. For almost any power Black Adam had, Apocalypse had a better version of it and then some frankly half of black adam's pantheon granted them abilities that apocalypse I wonder if people are gonna be pissed. dude the new moves coming out and you made it so he loses tech, the techno-organic virus and the death scene well yeah, black adam did have something a 
apocalypse didn't. The wisdom of Sahuti, big brain god, could definitely clue him in on that Death Seed stuff. And without a Death Seed, Apocalypse would not have fared nearly as well against Black Adam's strength and tenacity. So to win, Black Adam would have needed to figure out how to destroy the Death Seed, but Apocalypse could defend against that and had way more options for his own victory. His right. telepathy got the best of Jean Grey, and there's no reason Apocalypse couldn't mind read Black Adam. The courage of Mahen may have safeguarded him from mental attacks, but it never made him immune to telepathy outright. But most importantly, Apocalypse could absorb all of Black Adam's energy powers and mm. turn him right back around. The living lightning may be enchanted, but it is still lightning. It's frequently displayed properties of ionized energy. Thus, there's no reason Apocalypse couldn't absorb it for himself. Plus, it's been shared between people many times before, yeah, and the more it's given to other Sorry, hosts, the weaker the original yeah. bearer becomes. Help stealing the power of the living lightning is how Teth Adam became Black Adam in the first place, so or Apocalypse could do the scene? same. Okay. By slurping up Black Adam's magic, so the that power that was it. while Black Adam got weaker, it was only a matter of time before Black Adam was literally helpless against the end Did they ever bring things. that Death Seed thing Black up Adam may have been in that shitty-ass movie? But Apocalypse's wide array of powers and Specific counters to the living lightning meant he could rise to the challenge. Chef thought he had him until Noor gave him the boot. The winner <laughs> is Apocalypse. Why well, do you have to show him? Come on now. At least show his character model from the X Men Legends 2 game. Alright, here we go. This is actually one of my favorite week, parts. But you can always next get week. more death battle right now by clicking one of those boxes right over there and by downloading the battle music linked right. down below. Who's next? Oh shit, uh, uh, whoa, okay, wait, what? What the fuck? Trunks versus Silver? <laughs> oh, versus Archie Sonic. I was like, tr I was like, Trunks versus who? And I saw Edge, I was like, <laughs> my brain wasn't processing that at all. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, obviously these two have nothing to do with each other. Um, I guess they got. Alright, I don't know much about Silver. I'm going to assume they have a similar personality. Oh, isn't Silver uh, a future man too? Is that in the... the? Oh, is he? Is he a future traveler? Trunks is, obviously. Um, Alright, cool. Trunks versus Silver. That's, that's so weird. I would have never guessed that. If you told me, hey, Trunks is going to fight somebody, I would have never guess Silver, personally. But again, I don't know much about Silver, so... Uh, anyway, that was a fun battle. I like that. Um, I will say, uh, it was, it was, it was, it was good. There was, there was just some, for me, some audio issues. Just went, like, I, I couldn't really exactly tell what Apocalypse was saying. That might just been on my end, though. Maybe just, my brain don't work well. <laughs> my ears work fine. I think it might be my brain. I just can't process anything. Uh, I do want to watch this one. Uh, I need to go back and watch some older ones I know. Lobo versus Ghost Rider. That's a great one. Uh, Ganon versus Dracula. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to watch this one too. Solid Snake versus Sam Fisher. I don't even know who the fuck would win there. I, I would probably guess Solid Snake. You know, let me take some predictions here. Uh, well, I watched this one, right? Uh, wait, did I watch this one? Yeah, I watched this one, right? No, I, I didn't watch this one. Why did I think I watched that one? Uh, I'm gonna guess, uh, Doctor Doom. Uh, I'm gonna guess Lobo. Oh, uh, for that one. Ganondorf uh, versus Dracula. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm sure everybody would say Ganondorf. I'm gonna say Dracula. Dracula gets killed a lot, so does Ganon, to be fair. But uh, Hayachi versus Geese Howard. Uh, I don't know much about Geese Howard, honestly. I know he's from King of Fighters. Uh, I'm gonna say Hayachi. And then I'm gonna say Solid Snake. And then Ultron versus Sigma. Ooh. Don't they combine? Marvel versus Capcom. Don't they combine in um in the last Marvel vs. Capcom game? Um I'll say Sigma. Anyway. Alright, so there you go. That's that. I hope you enjoyed uh that Death Battle reaction. That was a fun one. I liked it. Um good little battle at the end. I figured Apocalypse would win though. <laughs> That didn't surprise me at all. He just I I surprised me when he fucking curb stomped him though. That was that was surprising. It got really violent. Some of the deaths have been relatively muted. I mean not all of them, obviously. But um That one was like pretty gruesome, which makes sense considering who's fighting. So yeah. Anyway, that's it. Bye!